Okay, so I'll point at it and you say E. Okay? E. Nice and long. E. And this one. <laughs> What's the difference? What does your mouth do to make this difference? What about the lips? Any, what's the difference between the two? It's like a smile. Words. This is like a smile, isn't it? Yeah. Smile, so you've got to, you can see the teeth. Yeah. And the lips are very wide like that. And this one? The mouth is closed. When you say this, e, there's a lot of muscles working. The muscles work very hard. And when you say this, the muscles are more relaxed. So it's like this. E -e. I think there are four basic kinds of pronunciation activity. And a, as a way of remembering them, I think of um, the four M's. That's uh, muscle, mind, meaning and memory. So that first activity was an example of the first M muscle. It was all about getting the muscles around the mouth working. In the second activity, I'll, I'll move on to the, the second M, which is mind. Uh, these are activities which focus on rules and patterns in the language. You have to start here and finish here. So all of the words must have E, right? So, uh, for example, Great. Does this have E? No. Great. No. Great. No. 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 So you, you can't go that way. Then there's this possibility. Eat. 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 Does that have this sound? E. Yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> so you draw a line from, from here to eat. Okay? Ask them to tell you where to go next. So. Eat. 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 Meaning. Sleep. Sleep. Now here's a question for you. E A, like in eat. E A. Is it always E? Is it always pronounced E? No. Can you find an example where it's not? Here. Here. There. Here. Yes. Here. Or great. Eat. So sometimes E A is a different pronunciation. Let's, uh, let's see. Um, you've got uh, some words in the West living, hit, slip, and fill. And some words in the East, leaving, heat, sleep, and feel. Okay, they're similar, but a little bit different, those two words. Living, leaving, living, leaving. So I'm going to say one of the words, and you point this way, west, or this way, east, with your finger. Okay? Oh. Living. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> if I say a word from the west, you put your finger on the map and you go along to there. Oh. You don't need a pen, no pen, just a finger. Or <laughs> if I say a word from the east, you go there. So let's, let's, let's say I say leaving, you go here. Then if I say heat, you go east. Then if I say slip, you go west. And then if I say feel, you go east. Okay. Moscow. Okay. 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 <laughs> we'll see. All right. Okay. Let's try it then. I'll do it with the finger this time. Just one more example. Living. 
pit. Sleep. Phil. New York. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> so that last activity focused on the third M, meaning, and uh, that kind of activity really demonstrates the connection between pronunciation and meaning, the way that pronunciation can make a difference to meaning. So the next and final activity is for the fourth M, memory. Uh, it's just a short, very memorable activity which will stick in the student's mind and help them to remember the pronunciation focus. This is the last activity, and it's a poem. Um, you've got two possible words here, look, fit or feet. <clears throat> so li listen to me and underline the one you hear. Right, so now we're going to do it together. You, you repeat after me each line, okay? You won't get fit. You won't get fit. Just sitting on a seat. Just sitting on a seat. If you want to get fit. If you want to get fit. Got to get up on your feet. Got to get up on your feet. And we're going to do it again two more times. <laughs> right? You won't get fit just sitting on a seat. If you want to get fit, got to get up on your feet. Don't fill that seat, got to move a little bit. Kick your feet to the beat, feel the heat, that's it. You won't get fit just sitting on a seat. If you want to get fit, got to get up on your feet. Don't fill that seat, got to move a little bit. Kick your feet to the beat, feel the heat, that's it. Great. Thank you. That's, that's it. Pron Pack is a set of four books one for each of those activities. Um, you've got um, muscle, mind, meaning and memory.